Hey guys, it's Chocolate Curls and today's video is a tutorial of how to get shorter hair into a nice sleek ponytail. So today's sleek ponytail will be a middle part so I'm going to begin with my rat tail comb and try and get a nice part down the middle. Being that her natural hair is a lot shorter when shrunken, it will make sense to do a middle part and not a side part because with the side part, it will be a lot harder to get that swoop to fit over into the ponytail. Okay, so I'm going to start with the back of her hair. I'm going to like part that into like a triangle kind of, and I'm going to sleek that down into a nice ponytail. Her hair was already detangled prior to this video, but I'm also going to take my rat tail comb in this process and kind of comb through the hair and try and get it as flat as possible. The more detangled the hair, the flatter the ponytail will be. And if your hair isn't really long, you want to make sure it's as detangled as possible. As you can see, the more I comb it, I'm able to sleek it down into a nice ponytail. I will also be using a brush after I am done combing to you know, flatten the hair out as much as possible. And also after I apply the gel, which I'll be using is the Eco Styler Gel. After I apply the gel, I will wanna slick it down some more with the brush. So it's gonna be a lot of combing, a lot of brushing, a lot of gelling, and all of that. You want to comb it out and then brush it until the hair is really flat. And once it's flat, then you can take some scrunchies or your ponytail holders of choice and go ahead and put that into a ponytail. So this is the first ponytail of many, but don't worry, I will be taking out the scrunchies during the process. Now I'm gonna take my rat tail comb once again and do another triangular part right on top of that other part that I did, kind of like outlining it. And just to get the other hair out of the way and maintain that part that I did in the beginning, I'm gonna do two ponytails in the front. Once again, I will be taking my wide tooth comb and combing through her hair. The more detangled it is, the more easier it is to comb through it, the flatter the ponytail will be. So take your time and make sure your hair is thoroughly combed through so that you can stretch it and get it into a nice ponytail. Because it can get into a ponytail, you'll just have to stretch it out. And the best way to stretch it is to make sure it's combed out so that you can pull it into that ponytail, as you can see me doing here. A great tip for this style is to do it fresh out of the shower after detangling your hair because the gel with the wet hair, it just glides a lot easier and the process is a lot easier that way. After combing, the next step is applying the gel. I normally begin by adding the gel mainly by the part first, then I brush it down to get it as far down as I possibly can. And then if I have to, I'll add more gel to where the hair doesn't have gel. If that makes any sense, like I'll add gel more closer towards the ponytail as I, you know, brush it down. Next, I'm gonna kinda smooth the hair into a ponytail and pull out that old scrunchie and use that same scrunchie to, you know, do the ponytail once again. I don't really wanna put too many scrunchies on top of one another because these ponytails are tight and it can cause headaches. Now I'm gonna move on to the front and to me, this is the most important part. So if you really have to, just go ahead and take your time. Over time, the hair will dry out a little bit from the shower and from the dampness. So you wanna just go ahead and take your time with this part because this goes over everything that's in the back. So if this isn't flat, everything will look a mess. So just go ahead and take your time and do section by section, combing it out. If you have to, you can even like gel it down as you're doing the sections. I didn't have to do this with her hair because she had a little bit of gel in her hair prior to this. But you can go ahead and gel it down as you do it to get it even flatter. I'm pretty sure that you all can guess right now what I'm gonna do after combing it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that gel, the same process throughout. I'm gonna keep doing this, combing, gelling, then brushing it back. The brush that I'm using for her hair is a really hard brush. When I normally do my hair, I do like a medium brush, but like it just irritates my scalp and my head. But if you can do the hard brush, it does wonders, honestly, and it will get your hair back and nice and sleek. So, I mean, it depends on your texture of hair and everything like that to what brush you use. You can honestly just get both of them and see which one works best or you can interchange in between them, but yeah. So now you see me applying more gel as I get closer towards the ponytail because it needs it there because it's not going as far down when I'm brushing it back. Apply as much gel as you need to honestly, like just go ahead and apply that gel because 
you want that ponytail to be sleek you want it to be like laid so just apply as much gel as you need to to get that hair to lay down and look flat and all of that because it looks great in the end she didn't even believe that she can get her hair to be in a sleek ponytail because of how it looks once shrunken but she came to the right person which is why i decided to just make a video just in case other people feel like they can't get their hair into a sleek ponytail like you can pull it back like once you comb it out you can honestly pull it into a ponytail i'm going to show you one more time like once you comb your hair out it will stretch to the point where you can put it into that ponytail and even if you can't honestly you can stretch it to the point where you can put some pins there to the flyways that's all the way at the front that won't get to that ponytail Put some hairpins there and kind of lay it down, but you can make some magic work. Just try it out first. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I will help you to the best of my ability. This time would have probably been best for you to know, like do section by section and gel it down as you go with this front part. But being that I do sleek ponytails so much, I knew what I was doing, but if you're having a hard time getting it flat, make sure you do those sections. And also comb it as much, if it's not getting flat, try combing it again. Like. I even pulled out a smaller wide tooth comb like in between my rat tail and my wide tooth and you know got that fine like I don't know how to explain it like it's just like combed out even more being that the combs are less spread apart from one another if that makes sense. Those who get perms can do sleek ponytails at ease because 10 times out of 10 you can use a rat tail comb on permed hair. So like your hair is like super flat by the time you're done like and you don't have to do much to it but you know take baby steps if you have to start with a really wide comb then get with a comb that's a little bit less wide and in the end you'll see me use a small rat tail comb after i'm done with everything now all of her hair is just about in a ponytail and you can't even tell that her hair was as shrunken as it looked in the beginning because it's possible as you can see so do not doubt your hair and do not doubt your capabilities because if you take your time, you can get your hair into that ponytail. And you see me taking out the scrunchie I had from the other side. I take it out and I'm going to put a new scrunchie on. So right now, I'll only have two scrunchies in her hair. The one from the two sections in the beginning and now from the front. I really love to leave the like the edges or corners out because I like to put gel on it in the end and you know have it nice and curly. So try and do that before you sleek your hair all the way into the ponytail because it'll kind of be harder for you to pull it out. On top of the gel, I'll be using some Lot of Body Mousse. If you have me on Instagram, you know that since I've discovered this, this is all I will do. I will put mousse on top of my gel from now on because. Mousse just sets everything in place. I just feel like mousse is just like a lifesaver when it comes to frizz. So I'm putting mousse on top and you know, gonna brush it down. And now for edges, I will be using an edge toothbrush. I'm gonna be completely honest. I struggle with doing any one edges other than my own. So it took a little bit of time, but I got it right. For the top, I didn't really do much edges for her. I just pushed it back because I really like that sleek kind of look and then like on the sides closer to like her sideburns I guess is when I decided to do like two swoops and I did the edges with some eco solder gel as well and voila we are done I'm gonna do some finishing touches by putting some of that eco styler gel on the little pieces of hair that I left out I just really like smooth the gel onto the hair and then I twirl it with my finger and keep twirling and keep twirling it until I have like a cute little curl I mean, just make sure it's kind of saturated in some gel and it will work out. I just put a lot of gel on that little piece there. As I said earlier, now I'm going to take my super, super fine comb and kind of just comb it back. And if you really detangle your hair out throughout this process, you won't have a hard time, you know, smoothing it with this comb. It kind of just does the fi finishing touches and make sure everything is even more sleek than it was previously. And I did add bundles to her bun in the back, which she requested. And I did not record this part because I do have a video of how to do a sleek ponytail and how to do the bundle part in detail. And I will include that below. But this is the finished look. Just focus on the sleek ponytail. Focus on how it is in a ponytail and how awesome it looks. And, you know, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy. Like, subscribe, and click on the bell to be notified.